Have you ever heard a whisper in the dark? It's an unsettling question, isn't it? A whisper, soft and barely audible, yet so distinct it sends shivers down your spine. A murmur so faint it could easily be dismissed as the wind rustling through the trees, or the house settling under the weight of its years. But you know deep down that it's more than just the wind or the creaking of old wood. These whispers are not ordinary, they're not from this world, they're ethereal, spectral, the stuff of legends and ghost stories. They're enigmatic, mysterious, wrapped in a shroud of darkness that defies explanation. They're the kind of whispers that keep you up at night, that make you question what's real and what's not. They're the whispers that stir your curiosity, that make you want to delve deeper into the unknown. These are not just whispers, but echoes of lost souls trapped in darkness. In the heart of California lies a forest that has been the source of spine-chilling tales. The forests we're talking about aren't your run-of-the-mill woods. No, these are the ones that make you feel like you're being watched. The ones that seem to whisper your name when the wind rustles through the leaves. This is a place that locals speak of in hushed tones, its very name a symbol of fear and foreboding. Nestled amidst the sprawling Californian landscape, the forest has a history that's as dark as its dense, impenetrable groves. Stories of strange happenings and eerie occurrences have been passed down from generation to generation, casting an ominous shadow over the forest. The most chilling of these tales are the whispers, not just any whispers, mind you. These are whispers that echo through the night, whispers that seem to come from nowhere and everywhere at once. Those who brave the forest after sundown speak of hearing these untraceable whispers, soft yet clear, carried on the breeze. Imagine, if you will, standing alone in the pitch-black heart of the forest. Silence surrounds you, broken only by the occasional hoot of an owl or the rustle of leaves underfoot. Then, out of the blue you hear it, a whisper. It's faint at first, barely audible, but it gradually grows louder. It's as if the forest itself is speaking to you, whispering secrets in a language you can't understand. Theories about these whispers abound. Some believe they are the voices of lost souls trapped in the forest and trying to communicate with the living. Others suggest they are the echoes of past tragedies, forever imprinted on the very fabric of the forest. And then there are those who think it's all just a figment of the imagination, a trick played by the mind in the eerie stillness of the forest. Many have tried to uncover the truth behind these whispers, but none have succeeded. The forest keeps its secrets well, and the whispers remain one of its most enduring mysteries. Until the day someone unravels this enigma, the haunted forest continues to whisper its chilling tales into the dark of the night. But who are these lost souls that haunt the forest? A question that sends shivers down our spines as we delve into the spectral realm. These souls, once alive and vibrant, now exist in a state of perpetual sorrow, their stories etched in the timeless whispers of the forest. The first lost soul we encounter is the Lady of the Lake. Once a maiden of unparalleled beauty, she was betrayed and drowned by a lover who coveted her fortune. Now her spirit roams the forest, her sorrowful cries echoing through the trees, a haunting reminder of love turned lethal. Next we meet the wandering child, a young boy who wandered into the forest one day and never returned. He was known for his infectious laughter and his love for adventure. His spirit now lingers in the forest, eternally searching for a way back home, his laughter replaced by desperate cries for help. Then there's the old man of the woods. A hermit in life, he chose the solitude of the forest, shunning society's norms. In death he remains trapped in the forest, his spirit unable to move on, his whispers a testament to a life lived in isolation. Each of these lost souls carries a tale of tragedy, their lives cut short by fate's cruel hand. Their spirits trapped in the forest are bound by their unresolved issues, their whispers an echo of their unfulfilled lives. Their whispers are not just eerie sounds that chill our bones. Each whisper is a story, a memory from a life once lived. They are the echoes of their heartbreaks, their regrets, their unfulfilled dreams. They are the voices of their past, trapped in the eternal present. Let's not forget these lost souls were once like us, living, breathing, dreaming. Their stories are a stark reminder that life is fleeting, that every moment counts. And perhaps their whispers are not meant to scare us, but to remind us to cherish the life we have. Their whispers are a desperate plea for help, a cry for release from their eternal torment. Despite the numerous attempts, the mystery of the whispers remains unsolved.
The enigma is as enduring as the rustling leaves of the haunted forest, a puzzle that teases the minds of those brave or foolish enough to delve into its secrets. Ghost hunters, armed with their high-tech gear and unwavering determination, have walked under the forest's shadowy canopy time and again. They've sifted through static-filled recordings, their hearts pounding in anticipation of a spectral voice, a clue, a revelation. Yet their efforts have only yielded frustrating silence or at best ambiguous sounds that leave more questions than answers. Psychics too have tried to pry open the forest's secrets. They've ventured into its depths, their senses reaching out to the unseen hoping to communicate with the lost souls whispered about in hushed local tales. But the forest it seems guards its secrets jealously. The psychics have emerged from their expeditions with furrowed brows and a sense of unease, their usually confident demeanor replaced with a palpable tension. Every attempt to decipher the whispers has left them feeling drained, their psychic energy sapped, their spirits unsettled. Even curious locals, those who've grown up with the whispers as a part of their town's lore, have tried to solve the mystery. They've braved the forest's eerie ambiance, armed with nothing but their courage and a curiosity that borders on obsession. But the forest's whispers remain just beyond their comprehension, an elusive melody that dances on the edge of audibility. This unresolved mystery has only amplified the sense of horror that surrounds the forest. The whispers, once just an unsettling rumor, have grown into a chilling legend, a testament to the forest's haunting allure. Every failed attempt to decipher them only adds another layer to the fear and fascination that they inspire. The whispers continue to haunt the forest, a chilling reminder of the lost souls trapped within. Unseen, unheard, they linger in the shadows, their voices weaving an eerie symphony that echoes through the darkened woods, a melody of mystery that remains to this day unsolved. So do you dare to venture into the forest and confront the whispers in the dark? Our journey has led us through the chilling enigma, the haunted forest, the lost souls, and the unresolved mystery. We've peered into the abyss and felt the cold breath of the unknown on our necks. But what if we were to step beyond the veil? What if we dared to face the whispers, not from the safety behind our screens, but up close, personal, where the echoes of the lost bounce off every tree and the shadows seem to reach out for us? How would you react to the chilling tales whispered by the wind, the trees, the very air around you? Would you run or would you stay entranced by the spectral symphony of the lost? The forest awaits its dark heart beating in rhythm with the whispers. But be warned, once you hear the whispers, you may never escape their haunting call.